Hey everyone, Ryan from Me Bike Escape. Ever since I started this YouTube channel, I've been thinking about what would make for the ideal electric bike garage slash recording studio. And what you see behind me is the start of this transition. Today I am featuring racks from a company called Steady Rack. They're actually based in Australia, but I know they have a US office as well. And it actually took me seeing a couple comments come up in the Rad Owners Forum that I run to actually look at, into what options existed. And of course, Steady Rack was mentioned. One of the things that makes these racks special is they are capable of holding the weight of many electric bikes in the market today. So in this video, I'm going to share a little bit of footage of the renovation that I did. This was actually a fairly big project for me. If you've watched this channel before, you're probably aware that I had a pretty ugly yellow background before. I'm also going to talk about the install of these racks, as well as, of course, give you a little bit of a close-up, and then talk about how both my wife and I found is the best way to both put your electric bikes on the rack as well as remove them. I know that I am really enjoying the extra garage space that these racks provide. So if you're looking for a storage solution, either for your garage or inside your house, I hope you find this video helpful. I want to send a big thanks to Steady Rack for sending us racks for all of our bikes. They were the ones who really motivated me to get this project done and I am super happy with the result. I will have a link in the description to both Steady Rack's website as well as links where you can purchase these racks on Amazon. To be honest, if you saw our garage before, it was downright scary, but with a little bit of drywall work and some painting, and of course the new racks, we now have an awesome looking backdrop for years to come. And I still have some drywall patching to do as I was finding some studs but basically what you do is once you have the location set you place your bike to the back of the wall have the tire hit and then you just put it in the rack and then on the floor you can actually mark the hole and then you measure the distance to that hole and it's up to you how high how much higher you actually want them to mount but then you just basically make the marks on the wall and hang up the rack all the hardware is included and the install is actually pretty easy. As far as the mounting hardware goes, the racks come with four bolts each, and if you're installing them in studs like I was, you mount them vertically, two holes at the top, two holes at the bottom. I did pre-drill the holes. The horizontal holes are meant if you are mounting to masonry, and of course, Steady Rack has their own installation video if you're curious and the instructions are very helpful as well. The other thing is they do come with rests for the rear wheel and that is simply installed after you have the front tire rack set because then you know exactly where that rear tire sits. Once I had found my initial stud I was able to simply measure over 16 inches and the process was actually pretty fast. One other thing I did was actually dry fitted the bikes to see what bike handlebars would work best next to each other. So you can see next to our Aerial Rider X-Class I ended up putting a road bike because the handlebars would interfere a lot less with that with the handlebars on the X-Class and then I opted for a mountain bike and then another road bike and then finally a mountain bike. So now that you have a better idea of how these racks are installed, I wanted to talk about the different rack models that I am using. Here we have my Ride One Up Limited. This is using the mountain bike rack. Next we have the Aerial Rider X-Class. This is using their fat tire rack, which I know a lot of people are going to appreciate since fat tire electric bikes are so popular these days. Next we have my road bike. This is using their classic rack and we're also using the classic rack here for my wife's road bike. And then here we have with this white bike, we have another mountain bike rack. And then finally my mountain bike, we're also leveraging the mountain bike rack. The only rack that I don't have mounted here is the fender rack. And I'm gonna put up on the screen all the different specs from the four different offerings that Steady Rack has, but what's really special about the racks that you see here is they are all rated for 35 kilograms, 
which is approximately 77 pounds. So that's going to work with most electric bikes on the market. Now the fender rack is only rated at 25 kilograms or about 55 pounds. So unfortunately that doesn't work with our rad wagon. It would be awesome if they come up with a solution where they can up the weight limit on their fender rack. You can see here that the bikes are all tilted to the right and that's because they simply fit a little bit better. It's a little bo bit more compact and you can see here with both our X-Class and our Limited, they have mirrors and the way that these kind of all go to the right or left is that the mirrors miss each other. If I move these centered, it would be much more difficult for them to be stored. And what's great is because these move, you can basically move the bikes that you're not, that you don't need access to out of the way. So for instance, if I wanted to access my X-Class, I can move my Limited all the way to the left here, and then I'll move my X-Class to the middle, and there's plenty of clearance to remove it. So now let's get to the foot, some footage of how I've personally best found removing these electric bikes from their racks. I do realize for some people that putting their e-bikes on the rack as well as removing them simply might be not be possible, which is why I'm kind of doing this video to show you what it takes to do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our X-Class off the rack. What I like to do is kind of brace my knee on the seat and also use the rear brake and that keeps the rear tire nice and steady. So lift off the back of the tire and then once I have it, you can pretty much just lower it down. And it's kind of the opposite when you're putting the bike back up. One tip that I do have is when, when you are installing these, try to make sure that the back tire is just a very, there's just a small amount of clearance with the back tire when it's on the rack. That'll save you from lifting it up really high or it falling a lot further when you take it off the rack. So again, use that rear brake. And this would be a good test for someone at home to see if you're able to maneuver your e-bike like this. So with the rear brake on and then just kind of take it off and move it nice and slowly to the rack. And then you just line it up with the top of the rack and you just slide it on. I would say generally putting it on is a little bit easier than taking it off. And I can do the same here just quickly with our Ride One Up Limited rear brake. This bike is a lot lighter, so it's a little bit easier. And then putting it back up, get it up in the air, move it over to the rack. Like I said, the rear tire is just clearing the floor barely. So now I'll show you that my wife can actually do this as well. Okay, so now Allie's gonna show how she can remove both the X-Class and the Limited. And she's a little bit shorter, so she has to squat down a little bit in order to use the same strategy. Uh, definitely when you're taking it off, don't hit the brakes. I was definitely having some problems with that. I use the same strategy, just kind of bend down, put my knee, hang onto the handlebars, and then just glide it off. I have my hand ready to hit that, that back brake so I have control. And here I will put it back up. My hand ready on the back brake if I need to. And I just glide it on. Slide it in. So, slide that over. Limited, I'll do the same thing. Just put my knee on the seat, roll it on back. Definitely a lot easier with the smaller or the lighter uh, bike. Um, I would say just be careful that you have your hands ready on the brake. Uh, so you have some control. Then I'll put it back up, hit the back brake, pull it up, and walk it forward. Walk it on up. It's a little hesitant on these, uh, but after taking it on and off a few times, it's not too bad to figure out. So I hope this video was helpful if you're looking for a storage solution for your electric bikes. For us, it was great to get all of our electric bikes out of in the middle of our garage. They're much more organized. And I'm actually finding that I'm putting them in the rack 
every time as opposed to you know per perhaps leaving them out if we're going to use them because it is so easy for us personally to get these e-bikes up there. I haven't seen a lot of other products on the market so I feel like with the weight limit that Steady Rack offers with a majority of their models, I really think it is a product worthy of consideration. We used to have our road bikes up on a hook, which to me, this is way easier um, just to have them all in one spot and easy to take on and off. I'll see you. Okay. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.